Okay, let's just proceed with the master thesis defense of Dr. Marconi. Okay. And let's see what the model will contain. Thank you very much. Good morning, I'm Camara Coni, and today I'm going to present my master thesis related to the noisy bottom model uh, with inclusion of contrarian agents, which are basically uh, agents who vote against the majority. Uh, so, um, a slight index of how our, uh, our work, basically we are going to start with a brief overview related to computational social science, which is the branch, uh, uh, the, the, the social computational science, which is basically uh, the field of study where this voter model has been studied historically. And then we're going to present the objective of the present work and the model we have studied, so the noisy voter model. Then we're going to include the contrarian agents, uh, and then uh, we present the results and the conclusion of the work. Uh, first of all, computational social sciences are quite recent interdisciplinary field of study, uh, which is basically aimed at merging the traditional studies in social science and social phenomena and interactions uh, with the inclusion of a data-driven and computational approach. In particular, it is uh, worth it to see for our purposes that a, com a complex system perspective is very useful in studying, studying social, social phenomena, social interactions, because social systems uh, can be considered com as complex systems uh, formed of many agents interacting and giving rise to emerging behavior at the system level. So, um, the objective of this work. In this work, we are studying the effect of the inclusion of contrary agents in the classical environment of the noisy voter model. So basically, um, the noisy voter model is a part of the subfield of the opinion dynamics and social consensus model. Where opinion dynamics model are um, the models uh, which study uh, what happens in a social system where the, the agents have to uh, agree or not agree uh, in opinion. So basically, if a consensus is reached in opinions or not. While social consensus model is a wider um, sub-branch in computational social science, uh, where the consensus study can also be, for example, in cultural features uh, or uh, in uh, media influences and so on. So in this case, uh, we have an interaction between, uh, in these cases of these models, we have interaction between mechanisms and the network uh, of the agents of the system. So these are the most important elements we have to consider in studying this phenomena and these models. So, in our case, uh, we propose an agent-based model for the study of uh, the dynamics of opinion where there are three important mechanisms. So the herding, the herding behavior, the emulation behavior, which is typical of the noisy voter model and the voter model in general, uh, which is basically a very uh, common and simple um, social mechanism, basically. The inclusion of noise, which represents math mathematically the free will, as we will see and the contradiction, because the contrarian agents, as I said below, are agents who vote against the no contrarians, the classical traditional voters. So they contradict the, the majority opinion, basically. Uh, so it is a variant version of the noisy voter model where also contrarian agents are included. Um, Gallum was the first one historically to study the contrarian uh, agents in another set, in another environment, basically in a local majority problem. And uh, we will see that in our case, okay, it is in a different context, but our results are different, so we will see at the end. Uh, in all the models, uh, in all the models we consider, this is an important note, uh, we have all-to-all -all connectivity. So as regards the network structure, which have, we have seen that it is a very important uh, element in studying social systems, uh, in our case, in all the models we study, we have all-to-all -all connectivity, so with all-to-all -all interactions. So, two main aims, studying the effect of contrariance under the influence of noise, and that will be concretized in the study of the only contrarian model, not both noisy bottom model, and studying the effect of contrariance where um, these contrarians are merged, are mixed with a population of noisy voters. So, contrariance and non-contrariance, the two communities together in a noisy voter environment. Uh, okay, so let's start considering the classical noisy voter model, or Kimman model, as uh, has been studied by Kierman for, uh, especially for economic purposes, but it is one of the most historical, uh, important uh, application of the noisy voter model. So the Kierman model, the noisy voter model, uh, is, has been studied in a, in, a, in a system of noisy voter and noisy voters, okay, big and noisy voters. And these voters, uh, basically, they make a binary choice. So they can be or in either in state zero or plus one, or in other application, other study, we can see, for example, minus one and one. Uh, for example, pessimistic and optimistic agents. And we have a small and optimistic agent and big M and minus small and pessimistic agent at each temporal step, so at each step of the dynamics of the evolution of the system. 
Uh, the two most important parameters of the system, the, 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 the fundamental parameters of the systems, are A, basically represents the free wheel, it is the noise parameter of the system, and H. Um, H in the classical noise water model represents the herding behavior, the emulation behavior, as we said. Uh, the dynamics then is um, well described by the, the rates, the global rates of the system. Um, as we can see, the rates, considering basically the transition, um, respectively in the case from a big a small n to small n plus one, that means uh, an advancement in the number of optimistic agents in the system and the transition small n to small n minus one, which means an advancement in the pessimistic agents of the system, um, are respectively um, made considering the, the number of the optimistic agents for the optimistic transition and the pessimistic agent for the pessimistic transition, which is, um, which is okay, intuitive because uh, when the transition to optimistic, more optimistic agents is performed, the non-contrariance, because here we have the classical non-contrarian agents, uh, will copy the state of the, the already optimistic agents in the model and, uh, okay, the opposite for pessimistic agents. Uh, the results we are going to study are uh, related to the magnetization. We can be well uh, plot in a mega simulation, which is the, has been defined in this way. And we are going to study, we are going to see also the probability, the steady state probability function for observe, observing the, the magnetization as defined before. Okay. Um, the noisy water model, okay, uh, briefly, uh, it presents a transition. It presents basically two uh, main, um, two main behavior. Uh, one contradicting the other. In, in fact, we have two parameters in the system. We have the noise, so the free will, and we have the emulation herd behavior. And so we have a competition between these two opposing mechanisms, these two opposing social mechanisms, the, 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 basically the, the emulation of the, of the local neighborhood and the free will, mm, the random choice of the future states of the agents. And that means that uh, we have a disappearance of the consensus. Instead, in the classical non-noisy water model, where A, the parameter A, is zero, so we don't have noise, okay, uh, we have a consensus. We can, we can study, it is, it is being demonstrated in literature that we have a consensus. Here, instead, we have a noise-induced transition. The, the presence of noise uh, leads to a transition between two different behavior regimes. As we can see in the following slide here in the literature, we have the case where the the probability, so basically we have a bimodal distribution of the probability of the magnetization of the steady state, that means that we have the possibility to have a consensus in one or the other state, uh, and it turns out to be that in this case the second moment of the magnetization is very large, it can be, okay, more than one third that is demonstrated by the formula. Uh, instead, we have also the, the case, the other case, the opposite case, uh, where the second moment is below, below one third, and in this case, okay, we have uh, a unimodal phase, okay, as we, as described here verbally, we have a unimodal case, and so uh, that means here the probabilities accumulate around one mode, okay, the magnetization, and so we have a consistent of opinion. So, and also we have the border case where the probability is uniform and where the possibility to stay either uh, at, at, at a particular number of optimistic agents, uh, agents uh, at each step of the, of the dynamics. So, uh, basically, here we have this, this transition between two phases. Uh, now, the question is, the research question has been, what happens when we include the, the contrarian agents in a noisy water model environment? And uh, here, okay, okay, here we have that uh, mm, the noisy water model with contrarian agents, uh, the number in the noisy water model with contrarian agents, the number to the number of voters uh, is divided into sub-communities, the big N1 and the big N2 corresponding to uh, non-contrarians and contrarian agents. And okay, this situation has been reflected also for the optimistic agents, which uh, have been divided into two, two, two sub-communities. Okay, the agents, of course, have the same uh, possibility of uh, making a binary chosen to, to different states. Uh, again, briefly, the state, okay, uh, and the dynamics uh, is described completely by the rates. In this case, we have more rates in the system because we have two different communities. So as regards to the non-contrarian community, the two states basically um, have the same behavior, have the same behavior uh, than in the classical noisy water model because uh, we don't have any kind of different behavior in, uh, in this case. So we have the community of non-contrarian agents. Uh, but when we have a contrarian agent, uh, the H parameter represents, in this case, not um, the herding behavior anymore, but a sort of anti-herding behavior. 
because as we said, the contrarians uh, tend to contradict the other voters, the non-contrarian voters. So in this case, we have the opposite behavior for respectively the two uh, transitions. So when the given voter jumps from state zero to state one, meaning it becomes optimistic, and when the given voter jumps from, from state Z one to zero, meaning it becomes pessimistic at the next temporal steps. Okay? Uh, therefore, uh, we can construct the two global rates for the transition and the master equation, uh, which can help us describe the dynamics of the system theoretically and analytically. Um, therefore, uh, we have, this was the general situation, the general architecture, you can see, okay, it's structure of the noisy water model with contrarian agents. Now we can study in the case of the only contrarian agents, in the, in the only contrarian models, what happens, so as regards the results, the actual results we had, and then the two community models. As regards the, the only contrarian model, so here in this case we have only uh, contrarian agents and zero uh, pessimistic, optimistic non-contrarian agents. In this case, uh, we can basically, we analytically get an exponential decay for the, for the magnetization of the, of the contrarian uh, community in the system. And that means that for any initial conditions, so for any values of A and that, provided that the sum of these values is positive, which is intuitive because uh, these two parameters represent um, basically are the two um, representative two mechanisms acting in the system. So the sum has to be positive because we have to consider both, basically. And in this case, in this case, so that means that the, uh, the first moment of the number of contrarian optimistic agents accumulates around this value, which is exactly the half of the total number of the agents in the system. Uh, and the magnetization, of course, tends to zero because uh, for due to the, the, the definition of the magnetization. Therefore, that means that in the case of the only contrarian agents, the system always keeps in the wrong run, in the steady state, uh, in a quick systems, in a quick systems of opinion. And that, that's contrary to what happens in general to, uh, the, in the case of the traditional noisy uh, voter model without any kind of contrarian agents. Okay, um, again, as regards to the second moment, we have an increasing function of the noise to anti ratio, okay? Um, as the second moment then mm, reinforce, we, we can again, uh, in, we can again mm, infer from the second moment that the, the anti herding mechanism of contrariance uh, tends to keep this coexistence of opinions. And uh, we can see here that the simulation, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can see here that the simulations and the theory uh, fit very well in, uh, in, our, in our experiments. Uh, one brief note, a uh, short note regarding the, the probability distribution. Uh, being uh, the fluctuation of the magnetization very small, and in the long run, the probability basically uh, we, we can see experimentally, we didn't show it uh, theoretically, but we see experimentally that it fits a Gaussian, a Gaussian probability. For the different cases, because we have a lot of different uh, cases in, uh, in many simulations, basically, so in different, uh, with different parameters. As regards, instead, the two community models, uh, in this case, we have both contrarian and non-contrarian agents. And uh, we have so a um, larger number of uh, moments, um, and we have the first moment uh, for the two community and three second moments, uh, because we have also the mixed second moment. And uh, we can see that the results are coherent with the, ca where, uh, with the case of non-contrarian, uh, um, sorry, of the only contrarian model, because, uh, again, uh, we have an exponential decay, an exponential uh, approach to the unique steady state solution for both the two communities. Uh, and the two communities are, uh, have the same results independently one from the, from the other. Uh, in the um, simulation, we can see that, for example, here we have got different simulations for the second moments, again, so the second moment of the non contrarian community for the contrarian community and the mixed second moment. And we can see that, okay, we have the uh, a very large number of agents, and the parameters are varying. In this case, the magnetization has been defined for the two communities. Uh, what we can see here, and also for the probability distribution, which uh, um, has been plotted and has a similar, uh, basically a similar, um, a similar tendency and similar behavior to the, to the, to the case before, and uh, for different parameters. What we can see here is that uh, the results are quite different, but the global behavior is similar because the, um, the steady, the steady uh, second moment of the first community is a decreasing function, as we can uh, we could see before, of the noise to anti-herding behavior, in this case anti-herding duration. 
uh, as regards the, sec the second moment of uh, the, sec the steady second moments of the contrarian, instead, uh, we have a different situation if n2 is large or small. So, an increase, respectively, an increasing function of the noise to anti herding behavior here, or a decreasing or even a monotonic function of the noise to anti herding behavior. So, um, what, happens, but, but what, happen, what happens overall in the system is similar because the, the, the system is always in the unimodal phase. Uh, for any parameter, non zero parameters, uh, uh, values of contrariance. And, the, and that happens for both communities. So both communities are in the, in the unimodal phase. So, what have we learned in this, uh, in this, in the, in this experiment and in this uh, theoretical study, theoretical and simulated study? Um, as regards the only contrarian models, we have uh, understood that for any values of the noise to herding parameter, the system always keeps in the unimodal phase. That is the major result of this work uh, for both the, the two cases we have studied. In this case, we focus on the, on the only contrarian models, uh, and we can see that the second moment of the distribution in the all-to-all -all interaction mm, noisy quarter model with contrarian agents uh, turns out to be an increasing, an increasing function. And that reinforces, so the, that means that the anti herding mechanism is efficient and reinforces the, the noise effect, the already, noise, uh, the already seen noise effect in the noise water model, of uh, preventing the system to reach a consensus. So basically, it helps the noise, it's efficient, to preventing the system towards a situation of coexistence of opinion. Uh, again, the probability distribution is very accurately approximated by Lagosian, uh, Lagosian distribution. As regards instead the two community models, Again, the this, this system reaches the unimodal, uh, the unimodal, only a unimodal phase for any initial condition, provided that the sum of the two uh, fundamental parameters of the system is positive. So, the so uh, basically, the contrarians tend to strengthen, to reinforce, to empower the effect, the typical noise effect, in preventing the, consistent, the, the system to reach a consensus. Uh, this is quite intuitive, as, uh, if, if, we, if we think about that. Uh, more precisely, what happens is that the contrarians prevent the system to reach the bimodal, uh, the bimodal phase, so to reach uh, either one opinion, one absorbing state opinion, or the other, basically. So bo both communities of water are in the unimodal phase uh, in, the, in the two cases. Uh, and that is the major result of, the, of, our, of our work. Uh, respect to the Gala models I cited before in the, in, the, in the first part of the presentation, in this case, uh, it turns out that uh, we don't have any kind of threshold in the presence of contrariance uh, for having this behavior. That means that in the, in the Gala models, uh, it happened that the, we had a threshold, we needed to reach a threshold of contrariance included in, the, in, the, in, the, in that model uh, for the behavior to be changed, for basically a uh, non-majority opinion to be reached. In this case, any amount of, instead, any amount of contrariance including in, including in the systems prevents the consensus to be reached. And that opens, okay, basically new horizons to the future development of uh, the study of contrarian voters in, uh, in the noisy voter model and also in any kind of, uh, of social consensus and opinion dynamics model. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes. Okay. So, uh, so we start or wait for the end? <laughs> for the start of the.